OK, we're going to have a look at, very quickly at our first look at the uh, the graph menu. So we're going to go to the menu, press it. Yeah. So we're now in the graph menu, option 5. We're going to put in uh, y equals 5. So we're just going to type 5. So straight away, its default is y equals. So y equals 5. Let's draw it. Now, we've got a problem. We can't see it. y equals 5 is up here. Now the first thing we need to do here is look at this thing, the V window. And our Y number is minus 3.1 up to 3.1. So I'm going to change this. In fact, I'm going to change this one to 5. And I'm going to go up to 8. I'm going to exit. And I'm going to draw it again. Now I can see it. I've got that in there. Let's exit. And let's type in a horizontal line. I need to change this. To x equals, I'm going to put in x equals 3, so I need to go to type and x, and it's changed all of them apart from the one at the top. So I'm going to type in x equals 3. Let's draw that. Now we've got y equals 5, x equals 3. Excellent. Let's look at how we can delete that. So delete. F1, and I'm going to change it back to a Y. And this time I'm going to type in 3x minus 1. So this is going to produce a diagonal line. Let's draw it. OK, so there's my Y equals 5. Here's my Y equals 3x minus 1. Now I want to work out or find things out about this line. So I'm going to always use this button here. And it opens up a whole load of options. I want to know where it crosses the x-axis, right here where my mouse is pointing. That is the root. So I'm going to press F1. And it's got two graphs. It's flashing on the one that it thinks I want. I'm going to go down. And now it's flashing on this one. And I'm going to press Execute. And there is where it crosses over. I can similarly press G solve and find the Y intercept. And again, I'm going to use it for the red line and intercept. It crosses the Y axis at negative one. One more thing. Let's go back and draw them. F5. And this time, I'm not going to worry about the maximum minimum at the moment. I've done the Y intercept. I'm going to look at the intersect button. Now this is going to work out the intersect of the two lines. Just there. I didn't have to select them, it knows already I want to find that value where they meet the intersect. One last thing, let's come out again, let's go to G-Solve. Let's go to the next bit, and this time we're going to get the Y value. So I'm going to have Y, I want the red. Now, if I press Execute, it's going to ask me to input an X number. I think I'm just going to use the same one I did before. When X is 2, tell me what Y is. When x is 2, y is 5, the point we just had again a minute ago. Again, let's try one more. The y number, let's choose the red line, and let's say I want to uh, know what minus 1, and let's see what the y value is. So when x is minus 1, y is minus 4. Okay, This is the start of being able to manipulate graphs and change windows and get into doing more complicated things than straight lines.